we'll go. You'll see all the adjust rooms are set up exactly the same. So we go in, we start with the functional analysis. Patient puts the travel card on the shelf. One shelf is perpendicular, one's at an angle so you can write, take notes. All the posters are the same so you know where everything is. We have our procedure list with whatever we're doing. If we're doing a 98941, 98940, um, mechanical traction, therapeutic exercise, we did a new, uh, new patient exam, re-exam, what x-rays we took is all there, and then the patient takes it up and it's placed in the computer. Um, if you're a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, all these forms are on the, uh, the disc in the manual. So you can have those, just print them out. Once again, same thing, face paper, like face down. Uh, we do some upper cervical work, so we use these for their, to rest their head. Pelvic traction always in the same place. <clears throat> Room three, room four. So when I'm in here adjusting, you're just in a circle. You go clockwise, creating that polarity, that magnetism. So it's all healing, everything has a plan. There's a reason for it. Um, Dijarnet is the one that started that. So you, saw, you walk in, you check, functional analysis, then you go clockwise around the table, drops if you need to, if you need to do some pelvic traction, SOT, adjust, card, and there. So it's, how did you figure that out? I don't know, brilliant man, um, but we do it, it works. Then you have the doctor's office, um, just some files, storage, it's a little untidy in and out. Got our calendar, got our master plan up, calendar, and we know when our seminars are, anything else we're doing. Um, so there we go, once again, Posters, education, these are nice and simple. Outside stress, inner resistance. So you're showing people simply and effectively what's going on. This is our exam, x-ray, ROF room. Six systems, subluxation, x-rays. Uh, we have our phases of degeneration to explain how the subluxation over time has shown, the research shows it always goes to completion. When you get there, you have permanent neurological impairment. Irreparable musculoskeletal damage causing permanent neurological impairment. Okay, so the longer you wait, the worse it gets. Then we like to use the models too to go through it. So we use that and this to explain. And then the best education tool on the planet, the model of the spine. How does this look compared to that, that? What's this, that's the nerve. What happens when you get a subluxation? What well, pulls, stretches, compresses the nerve? Okay, and you explain it there. The disc. How's that? How big do you think that hole's gonna be when that disc is gone? A lot smaller. Yeah. How do you think that nerve's gonna be under a lot of pressure? Yeah. You think that nerve's not gonna work right? Yeah. If this nerve goes to your stomach, if this nerve goes to your heart, how do you, and the nerve's diseased, what's gonna happen to your heart? The heart's gonna become diseased. Exactly. That's why this can become very serious if uh, if you wait. And there's a time limit. There's limitations in matter. So today's the day. Take action. We have our exam tools um, for the exam. Procedure list again. Face paper, blocks. And we get people uh, checked out. Get them healthy. So no wasted space. All the space is optimized. It has a purpose. It has a plan. Our office is just under 1,500 square feet. Um, we have everything we want, it's perfect. Uh, Dr. Fred has 1,200 square feet, a little bit less, and he uh, obviously took care of a, a lot of people. And we'll go back, storage area, still organized. There are file folders, patients that are getting ready to reactivate. Chlorella, we take water for us. Doctors gotta stay hydrated and healthy. Um, snacks, so keeping our own energy high. And then lastly, our bathroom, same theme, positive, uplifting, powerful. And then we, we chose some light grays for the colors overall just to be relaxing. Um, and then it's our back door. <laughs> so that's our office. Um, Everything has a plan, a design. 
minimize the walking. A few things we did, uh, Dr. Fred advised us on that were actually huge, is we had the consultation room right next to the front desk. Originally, we were going to have it in the back by my office. Um, Dr. Fred said to put it here because then a CA, your vice president of first impressions, can be here, walk a patient back, take about six steps, patients back. Then eventually the CA can do the consultation or the doctor. Either way, it's no wasted time. So boom, and then they're back here. You can also do the ROFs in the back, then bring the patient up to go over finances. And then the CA, once again, is boom, boom, boom. Um, and during uh, adjusting hours, you know, you see patients during adjusting hours, very important not to have any wasted time, wasted space. So you can take care of many people as possible. So that was a huge... Um, a huge change we made in our uh, layout. <clears throat> we widened uh, the space so it's easier for people to walk in and out. Um, Dr. Jerry Anderson gave us that. Um, our adjusting rooms are about seven feet by nine feet. Um, so large enough but not huge. The consultation room is a little bit smaller. I believe it's six by six or six by seven. Yeah, maybe six by seven, then seven by nine for the adjusting rooms. Kids room seven by nine. Um, could always be another adjusting room, but it's, it is nice when you see a lot of families that the kids have a, a, a place to go where they're located. Um, rehab, obviously the exam and x-ray room is a little bigger. I believe it's maybe 12 by 12. And then the uh, rehab, I believe, is maybe 11 by 18, 12 by 18. Um, if you're a one-on-one, -on -one, we can always send you the, the exact layout and the measurements um, so you can see. So that's uh, Gardner Schofield Chiropractic, and have a great day.